Over the weekend, a shuttle bus crashed on Interstate 15 on its way from Pocatello to the Salt Lake International Airport. The Salt Lake Express makes frequent trips from Boise to Utah. KPVI News That Works for You reporter Deanne Coffin joins us live now from Pocatello Regional Transit in Pocatello with more Deanne. Thanks, Matt. I'm here at Pocatello Regional Transit where Salt Lake Express picks up and drops off passengers. And today I talked to some passengers to find out how safe they feel riding the bus. Passengers getting on and off the Salt Lake Express shuttle bus today, just days after one of the buses crashed. Reports say the bus had seven people on board heading southbound on Interstate 15, heading to the Salt Lake International Airport. That's when it hit a cable barrier and crashed on its side. Today, first-time passengers said they were a little nervous about the ride. It was really rocky, um, like just back and forth on the road and stuff, and it was a little scary, but... Other than that, it was okay. Passengers that I talked to that rode on the Salt Lake Express shuttle bus today tell me that despite the road conditions and all the snow, they still felt confident with their driver and felt safe on the bus. Well, I think it went pretty smoothly considering. It was very scary with the weather conditions, but I definitely felt safe, and he definitely seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I was just putting my trust in him. <laughs> This passenger says he takes the Salt Lake Express frequently to and from Salt Lake City. When it goes to flying out of Salt Lake, we always take the shuttle. And we've never had any issues with it. Uh, uh, hopefully the drivers are prudent when they're driving in, you know, in clement weather and in poor conditions. But uh, yeah, felt fine. Saturday's Salt Lake Express shuttle bus crash was believed to be caused by a tired driver. This bus driver says he makes the trip back and forth to Salt Lake on a regular basis. He says he gets plenty of rest before he takes his passengers to their destinations. Uh, I never have a problem with it, but I can't speak for other drivers. We reached out to Salt Lake Express today and they told us no comment. Reporting in Pocatello, I'm Deanne Coffin, KPVI News That Works For You. All right, thank you very much, Deanne.